up everybody? It's Superior Junior with Superior Gaming TCG. I'm here with Ricardo Varela. And uh, what place did you get at San Diego, San Diego Regional? I went X2. I got 10th. I lost round 1 and round 9. Uh, it kind of sucks. I lost the last one. Would have made for sure top 8 if I did. Uh, I played Orcus for the event. And this is my deck profile. Uh, 3 Phantasmi, 2 Ash, 2 Ogres, 2 Bells, uh, Sky Blaster, a Neo Space Engine. I played 3 Phantom Knight names, so it was the right ratio. And then for the Orcus, we just played the 5. Uh, there were times where I wish I had a second one, but yeah. I usually shuffle this back with the first Galatea. Uh, striker cards. Uh, call wise and twins. Uh, you need to main this for the mind burn decks. It's just a necessary card that you just need. Uh, two instants, Babel, and reinforcement for, that lines up the spells. And then for traps, we have Impermanence, Fog Blade, the Shade Ringadine, and the Crusader. Uh, the main deck happens to be 43 cards. So we have the one Kagari, uh, one Mermaid, a Phoenix, Cerberus, Underclock Taker, two Galateas. Shout out to Junior for the second one. Uh, the Long Grisu, the Phantom Knight, Unicorn, Boral Sword, uh, my Instant Fusion targets. Um, they both came in handy. They both did what they were supposed to do. And then the last two is the main reason why this deck's the best deck right now the XYZ. Uh, lets you can extend your plays and also helps crack boards. For the side, we have Spell Counselor. Uh, the main reason why I wanted to play this was because if there was ever a chance where I can summon it with Dingarusu, Dingarusu is I can protect it by detaching the material, so my opponent would have to kill it multiple times, and it also would stop against burn and strikers. Um, but I think the most underrated was the dogwood. Uh, it actually won me two games. Uh, it makes people uncomfortable to play. And what I mean by that is, um, life points aren't really a factor until they start getting to an outrageous difference. Uh, when I was usually up by 6,000, my opponents stopped. And by that time, they were halfway into the combo. If they stopped there, I was for sure gonna kill them. Or if they kept going, I could just pass for maybe two or three turns and they still wouldn't have enough damage to knock me out of it. So it was probably one of the most underrated cards. Uh, Frankatops, Lancia, uh, Scythe for the three Sanctums, and on the last two cards were Unending. I just wanted to have more cards for uh, the Mystic Mind. But uh, yeah, that was my whole deck that I used for the event. Any changes you would make uh, after? Uh, I probably would want to play more MST light cards. My my round one loss was against uh, Mystic Mind, so and five MSTs weren't enough. So probably need to play more of those. So moving forward, you think this is the deck to play, or? Uh, yeah, going into nationals, I feel like this has the highest ceiling. I feel like there's so so many different approaches you can do to the deck, and you know the format's not solved. So. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me that going into the WCQ that we see different variants of it. All right, any shout outs? Uh, yeah, I actually have one shout out. Uh, it's to Calvin Chow. Uh, <laughs> he's my biggest fan. He he Snapchat me my screenshot from the last video, so I want to give him a shout out. Uh, all right, thank you so much. Can make a wildfire get away.